we the students of gokaraju rangaraju institute of engineering and technology from the department of biotechnology have done our mini project on diabetes assay of glycosylated hemoglobin adenosine diaminase and c reactive protein in type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus patients with respect to the pathophysiology of the disease this mini project is done by j preeti ab saidipti and d shri ramya the main objective of doing this mini project is to find out the risk of getting cardiovascular diseases and other immunological disorders by diabetic patients by measuring the levels of hba1c ada and c reactive tests of the patient Diabetes mellitus Diabetes mellitus often simply referred to as diabetes is a group of metabolic diseases in which a person has high blood sugar either because the body does not produce enough insulin or because cells do not respond to the insulin that is produced Types of diabetes Type 1 diabetes Type 2 diabetes In type 1 diabetes the body fails to produce insulin it is an autoimmune disorder In type 2 diabetes the body fails to respond to the insulin that is being produced sometimes combined with absolute insulin deficiency this is the diagrammatic representation of type 1 diabetes this is the diagrammatic representation of type 2 diabetes the symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination frequent thirst lack of energy and feeling tired too much hungry than usual blurred eyed vision dry and itchy skin losing sense or heels unusual sudden weight loss or weight gain markers of diabetes hba1c ada and crp are the markers that we use in our study hba1c test this test is carried out for quantitative determination of percent glycosylated hemoglobin in human whole blood by ion exchange chromatography principle whole blood is mixed with lysing reagent to prepare a hemolysate this is then mixed with weakly binding cation exchange resin the non glycosylated hemoglobin binds to the resin leaving the free ghb in the supernatant the so ghb percent is the determined by measuring the absorbance of ghb fraction and the total hemoglobin conclusion 6 to 7% good control exercise 7 to 8% of the hb avnc fair control exercise and 8% and above poor control is exercised by the patient hda test this test is carried out for determination of adenosine diaminase activity in serum plasma and other biological fluids principle adenosine diaminase hydrolyzes adenosine to ammonia and inosine adenosine forms further reacts with phenol and hypochlorite in an alkaline medium to form a blue indophenol complex with sodium nitroprusside acting as a catalyst intensity of blue color indophenol complex formed is directly proportional to the amount of ada in the sample abnormal value of ada for serum is greater than or equal to 30 crp test this test is carried out for the in vitro determination of c reactive protein in serum by quantitative and semi quantitative latex slide method principle based on the principle of agglutination test serum is mixed with crp latex reagent which consists of latex particles coated with anti human crp in the presence of crp above 0.6 mg per dl physical agglutination is observed CRP level is less than 0.6 mg per dl it is normal conclusion in the present study we observed a significant elevation in the adenosine diaminase level in diabetic subjects when compared to controls hba1c is a marker of hyperglycemia we can relate it to ada and crp levels in type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus therefore we conclude that elevated ada and crp may be important indicators in immunopathogenesis of type 2 diabetes mellitus and understand the risk they have for cardiovascular diseases and other immunological disorders thank you